Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I create really cool motion graphic animation with using Cinema 4D and After Effect. So firstly guys, I use Cinema 4D and guys, I take Spare and I go to Display, Select God Shading Lines. Guys, change this Spare type, type and I take ISO, right? And after that guys, I create low poly so guys delete this tag select and press delete key and now make editable click on here yes and after that guys I take displacer select and make child with spare yes select displacer and I go to shading and shader click noise this one here this one noise and go to object Guys, I increase height, increase like this, height I take like 80, actually take 70, yeah, 70 is better, and guys, select this pair, and I select scale tool, and squeeze, like this, right, and again, go to displacer, and height, increase randomly like same 70 yes right okay after that guys again select this pair and right click select children and one more time right click connect object plus delete yes that's my first shape and now guys again i take spare and change spare radius like change I take like 70 right so again type same I take ISO and guys this time I take bull tool this one so select this pair and go to on up select both objects and make child with pull yes right and now guys change bull type so select this bull and bull type Take last one A without B. Yes. See guys, that's my final shape. Right. And now again, guys, select this bowl and right click, select children. And one more time, right click, connect object plus delete. Yes. Okay. So guys, my shape is complete. And now I create animation. So I use this one plugin this one net creator right guys you can download this plugin from my website and how to install this plugin was this video link in description so i take net creator tool and select this net creator guys this is object a select drag and drop yes and hide hide and hide on render yes Okay, so guys, firstly, I create set vertex. So now select this bowl and select point this one, select any point like this. And after that, guys, I go to again this time, select and set vertex weight, check and value. I take 100%. 100 and press ok yes right ok now guys again same this time uncheck this net creator and hide bowl and hide guys select net creator and go to distance and max density I take like 50 make more like 30 Yes, see guys, that's my shape. You can increase little bit like 35. Yeah, that's better, right? And guys, go to here, last one. Actually guys, so I create animation. So this is my set vertex map. Go to again, object, click on here, arrow key and click, right? So guys, go to here, last one and enable check and go to back and play yeah see guys that's my C 
simple animation go to back and play right it's really easy okay so guys my first shape animation is finished right and now guys i take this time spline circle and circle radius i take 0.2 and intermediate point change i take natural and number i take 2 yes and guys now i take swap so select this net creator and circle and make chalvis swap yes and play yeah great see guys see that's my shape right okay now guys i create material for this shape so i go to create and new material open and color take any color like red and reflection check and press add key and take reflection legacy and brightness i take like 30 percent so close apply on swap yes guys for lighting i apply hdri light so i take sky this one and again create new material for light luminous check and go on here see guys that's my light as dr image guys you can download from my website it's free so open yes apply on sky yeah and guys also apply tag on this sky right click on sky compositing tag and scene by camera uncheck yes and render preview yeah great okay so guys now i create camera moving animation so increase frame like 500 i take 500 frames and take camera and camera check swap so uncheck so guys press this animation key select camera and press this animation key and i go to like 200 frames 200 and camera angle like this like this right and check right and play yeah great okay so guys my all animation is finished i go to render setting swap uncheck and go to render setting guys take only anti select best that's it and save guys format this time i take png sequences this one png and alpha channel check and create new folder go to desktop create new folder like ran one and take any file name like shape one and press ok guys go to output use full frame and take all yes right guys don't need this ambient occlusion and global illumination so close and render see guys that's my shape right it's png so guys i show you my renders i already take renders i show you see guys actually this is graphic yeah see that's my first shape right see guys that's my first shape it's transparent png file and now guys second shape i show you that's my second shape like this see right okay so close now guys i show you how to create same shape so this time null object and go to down select both shape and connect with null object so guys hide and hide on render right and now i create second shape so again take spare and radius same like actually i show you 70 yeah 70 height and guys same type 
take ISO and make editable. Click on here and guys set vertex, select and take point, select any point and I go to select, set vertex weight and value. I take 100% and press OK. Yes, that's it. So now guys, I take same net creator plugin. So select net creator and I go to object, select this pair, drag and drop. Yes, and hide, hide on render. And I go to distance and max distance. I take like 50. Yes, actually more like I take like 20. Increase like 30. Yeah, 30 is better. Right. And guys go to here object and vertex map. Select this vertex map, drag and drop and here and I go to back and play. So guys go to last one and enable check. Yeah. And play. Great. Right guys. That's my second shape. And same, I take circle and circle radius, I take 0 0.2 and intermediate take natural and number of take 2. And guys take swap, select and connect with swap. Yes, right. And guys you can change color material, copy and take this time like blue yes and apply on swap yes right guys my second shape is complete and open see guys that's my two shapes first one and second one right and after that guys take renders and use after effect so guys go to after effect and i create new composition and composition name take anything take full hd frame and press ok okay so guys go to project right click on project import and import file so guys go to desktop this is my render select select first one render and png sequence check and press ok and guys drag and drop in main comp that's my first shape and import second shape go to back select and import select drag and drop right okay so guys go to back and play see that's really cool and now guys create lighting for I apply glow effect so guys go to effect and preset and type glow select and press glow select apply on both shapes yes and second one and guys select this second one shape and press ctrl D and increase threshold like this yes right great okay so now guys i create background so right click and new and take solid layer and like bg this is my background and guys apply gradient ramp select ramp and apply yes and guys ramp shape i take radial ramp and change position select this point go to inmate and change color actually and color and color take dark red and start color little bit lighter yes right more dark yes right and go on last yeah great so guys my background is complete and now I create text animation. So guys go on here and type like any letter like after effect 
products. So select and guys, this is my middle point. Go to and made the shortcut command is press control or and home button. Yeah, and alignment, go to align and align. And guys, also apply glow effect on text, effect and preset type glow, apply. Yeah, great, that's really cool, right? So guys, now I create animation. So guys, that's my last keyframe is 16 and press N press N and now I go to like 14 frame 14 and go to effect and preset and take animation presets go to text and animation in and take this one this one express I chart apply on text yes right and I go to like 12 again apply and last one, I go to like 10 frame and one more time apply. Yes. Right. Go to back and play. Yeah, that's really cool. And now see guys, that's my text animation. Yeah, great. Right, that's really interesting. Okay, so now guys, my text animation is complete like this. And after that guys, last one, I apply optical flare light. So right click on here and take new solid layer and go to effect guys I apply optical flare and press this option key and take any light go to down motion graphic apply any light like this one and press actually you can change also color I take red and press OK. So OK. And guys, also change mode. I take screen. Yeah, great. And apply on here. And guys, copy this light. Press Control D. And select light. And change position only. Like this. Right? See, guys, that's my simple. Select, go to down. Yes. And guys play guys you can also change light opacity brightness like this and scale same yeah great so guys go to back and play yeah guys this much is better And that's my text animation. Great. See guys, that's my final animation. So guys, now last one, you can apply music. Go to back and that's my music file. Apply, right? Okay. So now guys, my final animation is finished. So if you like my video, please share and subscribe my YouTube channel. And guys, you can download this project file from my website. It's free. Thank you.